Kionda, and welcome back to the channel. My name is David. Today, we're back in Pasadena because it's overcast. It finally rained for like literally a couple hours, and now I have to wait another 10 years because that's how it works here in LA. Brought out the X-Pro 2 today uh, just because I, uh, I feel like I haven't really used this camera even though I bought it for street photography. And the reason why is because I have the RF 50mm 1.2. I fucking love that lens so much. Oh my god, it's been on my freaking camera this whole week. I have not taken it off. Actually, no, I lied. I used it for a, a gig today. Um, and I actually used the 24 to 70 on the R6 because I was doing a handheld video. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's kind of just lived on my camera like all week because I use it a lot for uh, product photography. It's just so good for product photography. Um, so yeah, my Fuji equipment's been kind of getting neglected lately because, you know, I've got the new stuff for Canon to play with. But, you know, again, brought out the X-Pro2 with the 35 f2 because it's a 50mm equivalent. And I love 50mm for street. And yeah, just to have some fun. Um, originally, I wasn't going to come out and shoot. Uh, but, you know, it's it's an overcast day. We don't get those too often here in LA. So I just figured, like, I, I'll go to Pasadena and get some cool moody overcast shots because with the way a lot of the architecture is in, in old Pasadena in particular, it just looks really good when it's overcast or when it's raining, just uh, especially the way I edit everything very moody. Uh, I love it. And I don't know why I have such a fascination with moody like edits, but they just look good. Um, I don't even know what the hell I was trying to photograph in this in this frame. I know for the next shot that's coming up right here, I actually used the pipes um, on the truck right here to kind of do a uh, create a leading lines kind of thing with the framing of the shot with the gentleman next to the uh, sign. Uh, I think that was a bus stop. I couldn't really tell because it was a little dark, uh, but I really like it. Uh, you know, using some of the foreground elements to kind of create the, that shot it looks pretty cool. For this shot, I have no idea what I was trying to shoot. So I get behind this bush because no one's going to see me. I see this person walking and you know it's a good photo when you get their feet spread out like that very like Beatles uh, Abbey Road you know when they're walking across the street um, yeah I totally just made a Beatles reference and I hope I quoted or said it was the right album because I always get confused with some of their albums actually I'm just terrible at remem remembering albums and like names of stuff um, favorite band though Linkin Park I could probably name like all of their songs Actually, probably not. Um, I can name all their albums. I just have trouble remembering like everybody that is not Chester Bennington and and Mike Shinoda. Um, yeah, that, that's that's kind of the thing. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, I think this was around like ten o'clock, so things were starting to open up. I like to go in the mornings, uh, obviously because of what's been going on. Sometimes it doesn't necessarily work because it's a little quiet. I like this photo. I don't know what I was trying to do with it. I like the lady in the red because she stood out. Uh, but overall, kind of a eh, okay photo. Uh, same thing with this one right here. You see the cyclist on the, uh, you know, just checking her phone. And eh, it's nothing special. It's just a person checking their phone. But yeah, uh, kind of just trying to figure things out at this point um, with regards to what I'm shooting because uh, I did not expect it to be so quiet. And again, I just came out because I wanted to shoot in the overcast uh, weather and, you know, it does rain later in this video. Um, so that's going to be fun. But I do like this photo. I didn't like that first frame I got of the guy because he was bent over. But I got this shot of him, you know, putting, I think it was his keys away in his pocket and let him lifting the door of the truck. It looks really cool. You get a sense of him actually like working and doing stuff instead of just like him just standing there checking his phone. And I think I was trying to photograph a mailman across the street, but I didn't like the, the photo, which is why I didn't put it up. Although for this next one is fun because that's a gentleman walking his pet RC car. Yeah, I said it, pet RC car. And... Yeah, it's just the most random thing you can see on the street, but that's what street photography is all about. I like this photo. I like the look that he gives me, kind of like, what? I'm walking my pet. Um, and yeah, and, and that's the thing I like about street photography is just seeing things like this or like meeting people. Uh, like in the last episode with George, like uh, it's just uh, 
that's what makes it fun. Also, old Pasadena City Hall just looks amazing in moody conditions. Uh, just again, the architecture just looks so good. But yeah, like, you know, with the last episode, um, you know, when I met George, I think that whole experience was really cool. And I'm really happy that I was able to capture it on, on video. Um, sadly, nothing crazy like that happened in this episode. Spoiler warning. Um, but it's always fun to meet people regardless. Uh, for this shot right here, just poke the camera over the fence. I really like the aesthetic of the construction sites. I've never actually like trespassed on one or snuck in because uh, I'm not stupid. Uh, you know, there, there's there's a fine line of certain things I'll do for a photo. And like then there's some lines I refuse to cross because uh, potentially getting hurt or injured or, or even killed uh, for a, for a photo. I like people that like to shoot on train tracks, like live train tracks just for a fucking shot. Don't be stupid. I'll quote Philip DeFranco. Don't be stupid, stupid. Like, just don't do it. It's not worth it. it you know, for some fucking Instagram likes that aren't going to pay your bills. No, just no. Just don't do it. Um, but yeah, uh, for this shot right here, I got this really nice uh, photo of the stained glass at the church. I've always been a big fan of architecture at churches. Um, I think it's because I play a lot of video games like Skyrim, uh, Zelda, and I watch a lot of anime that has references to, to architecture like that. So I've always been kind of a, a fan of it because of the of, because of the stuff that I'm really into. Um, so it's always nice to see some real world comparisons. For this shot, just scooter person, scooterist, motor, motorist. I really just like the yellows and the blues I got out of that, especially because they were wearing like some nice rich dark blue jeans. Uh, also, this area is called the Playhouse District, and I didn't get the Playhouse because, the, well, it's closed up right now because of COVID. But um, for the most part, uh, this is kind of like the the fancy part of Pasadena where you kind of come out and like have fun with people, go to like a bar or drink wine at a fancy wine bar and go see a play. Um, and then you have Old Pasadena, which is kind of like the shopping district. For this shot, I like the architecture. I like the the way I got the um, the palm trees and the clouds in the background and the red car just stood out. I, it, it was really good. I like it a lot. And then I'm making my way over to Lake Avenue, which is kind of like the another like shopping district slash banking district. That's where a lot of the businesses are or people in suits, um, you know, if we're going to compare it to say something like New York or uh, downtown uh, LA's business district. And I just like the architecture I have, uh, you know, you see uh, uh, around here. Um, this is actually part of a, I think it's a Bank of America or Chase Bank. I don't remember, but this is part of that building. Uh, and I just really like the, the, the patterns I'm getting, the architecture shots. 50 millimeters, a little tight for architecture, but it's fine. Um, I kind of wish I had like a 10 to 16 mil, but I don't know, like six, like 10 millimeters or 16 millimeters on full frame, at least for me is too wide. And I feel like you don't see a lot of like, even though you see a lot of the, the frame, I feel like it's really hard to put a subject into perspective unless you're doing something intentional. Um, but, uh, that's why I just like, uh, 24 mil as my, my wide angle. Cause I think that's at least for me it's plenty i know for some people it might be a little bit different actually comment down below what is your go-to wide angle lens is it like a 16 mil a 20 mil 24 mil or even wider like a fisheye lens like an 8 millimeter or 10 millimeter uh comment down below i'm kind of curious to see what everyone's uh, thoughts are but yeah nothing uh too crazy going on over here just i i you know i shot this tree i like this the colors i got out of this tree and uh, i think this is a fern tree i'm not too sure but i just i just like how like pasadena's um like neighborhoods just have so much like life in them uh in terms of like greenery so it kind of is a nice contrast to the like steel and concrete that you see a lot in in urban environments so it's cool also, I haven't been to this area in a while, so I was kind of sad to see that the um, soup plantation, which is uh, where it used to be on my right-hand side, uh, I'm a little sad that it closed up because I used to go there a lot with my girlfriend when we were in college and friends and just eat a lot and just hang out. 
And the food was like the food was okay. Um, I more so gravitated to their clam chowder because I love clam chowder, and uh, pizza sticks because it's a pizza on a stick and like it's super easy to eat. It's like pizza fries. So yeah, uh, kind of sad it's gone. But they put some cool art installations in this place. This wasn't here years ago, so it's kind of cool to see how much the area's changed. I don't come out to this area too much just because there's really nothing to do other than like go to a couple like clothing stores and that's really it. Um, but as you can see, I have the, de the umbrella deployed because it finally started to sprinkle and then it gets, uh, like a lot heavier as you're going to see in a couple of minutes. Um, for this shot, I was trying to get the, um, arcade building across the street, uh, the black building, um, you know, nicely framed up because I do like the, the stark contrast from the the black concrete and the white paint of the interior, but I just did not like the angle. I feel like I was a little too far. So eh, the, the photos were okay. So I'm just gonna keep walking, kind of just trying to figure things out. Also, uh, I'm trying to do longer videos. I don't feel comfortable doing longer videos because it's harder for me to keep talking for you know, 15, 20 minutes as opposed to like the 10 minutes, 12 minutes that the previous videos are. Um, just cause I really don't script anything when I'm, um, I'm talking, uh, like, uh, to you guys, uh, during these videos, just because I, I kind of just speak from the heart. I kind of just monologue and talk about whatever pops into my head. Like, look at that cute dog that just walked out. It's so cute. I love pets. I love animals. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of hard for me to, to do that. So I'm probably going to dial back the longer videos. I'll probably go back down to like 12 minute videos. Because uh, doing doing long ones are, are pretty hard. But I do like this shot. I love the just repeating lines and and just like the uniformity that you see from the storefronts and the architecture. I love it. Also, as you can see here, the wind's starting to pick up. And at this point, I'm just getting blasted with rain and it was cold and I love it. But I really wish I had gloves because my hands were like freezing. It's hard to shoot and hold an umbrella at the same time. That's why I brought the smaller 50, uh, 35 mil with the X Pro 2 today. But yeah, it's 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 hard to to hold an umbrella and then like photograph stuff one handed. Uh, depending on the the setup that you have, I might actually buy one of the umbrellas that you can wear as a hat, uh, just the big one, so it could cover up my my bag. So I didn't want it to get wet. Um, I like that shot. Guy just did not give a flying fuck if it was raining. He was just like, yeah, I'm not going to wear a sweater. Fuck it. Let's go. Um, and for this shot, gentleman across the street in a trench coat. It looks pretty badass. You can see some of the droplets of the rain in the shot as well, which is cool. And I see this gentleman kind of walk out of the bank. I guess he's heading back to the uh, parking lot. And I'm just trying to frame him up really well. And I get this shot of him underneath the tree. It looks pretty cool. I like the how like just much reflections you see from the wet asphalt and the subtle um, red light from the uh, traffic light in the distance. It looks really cool. I love it. This is this is the main reason why I enjoy shooting uh, in the rain, just because of photos like this. Like you just everything's just wet. Uh, you feel cold when you see photos like this. You hear the rain when you see photos like that. And it's just so much fun to just be out there and just getting wet and drenched. And uh, yeah. And also, word of advice, wear layers, wear a raincoat, and wear rain boots, and have an umbrella. Because trust me, you're not going to get sick that way. Because nothing sucks walking around with like wet shoes, wet socks, or just getting completely drenched because you don't have an umbrella or you didn't pack a raincoat. Um, because... Even though it's fun, it's not worth getting sick over. So, yeah, I've uh, had many years of me doing this to, to learn that. So, it's just my advice. And for this shot, I shoot the, the cone as kind of like my main point of attraction. I don't know. I just It looks really cool. I like the yellow tones I got out of it. I feel my framing could have been a little bit better because then I could have gotten the entire cone on the reflection and not have it like completely cut off. Um, yeah, but it's pros and cons, you know, it's a, it's a 50 millimeter. It's not particularly wide or tight. It's just normal, but, um, but yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's always a fun time when it's raining 
And at least from what I've been hearing on the news, it's going to be colder next week. So maybe I'll do more POV rainy day street photography videos, albeit a little bit shorter. Um, but yeah, it, you know, this was a, this was a fun one. Um, so, you know, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys found it helpful or enjoyed it, or if you were entertained, go ahead and hit that like button. If you dislike the video for any reason, go ahead and double tap the down, the thumbs down button. It, uh, it helps the video out as well. Trust me, it works. And yes, I called it the down button because you're a Debbie Downer if you, if you don't like this video. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, be badass. See you guys next time. Peace. Oh, that? Look at what you documented. Well, I'm just Passing going around through. taking uh, some photos because I like it when it's overcast. Okay. It looks so good. Uh, so I'm hoping for some rain because uh, I, I love to shoot in the rain, but it's just been a while since I've been out to Pasadena. Oh. Mostly in downtown LA, kind of shooting the it's streets. Rain at 11. Oh, okay. So it's a good thing I brought the umbrella. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Stay safe. <laughs>